Okay, your axe ready. It's very haphazard type thing. Whatever happens, happens. The cannon. Yeah, really. What, are we, what is the name of this thing? We need to give this thing a name. Put a sticker on the side, yeah. Delilah. Wow, what's up with her? How's it guys and welcome back to another episode of Burden Bulls. Today we are looking at woo, modified t-shirt cannon. Yeah! <laughs> this thing is super exciting uh, but before we get into that I need to thank two people. Uh, first person is Andrew from Land Marine Fire. He supplied us with the CO2 canister filled with CO2 and uh, the second person is Neil from the Richmond Hill Broom Company. Oh who doesn't like a good beer? Mmm, Jane Doe, hard lemon. <laughs> I actually quite enjoy this one. Um, it's a lemonade with a bit of a kick. <laughs> he also makes a, quite a good amber ale beer. So Neil, thanks very much for the information on the regulator. Back to what we came for. Um, this is the t-shirt cannon that I made a couple of episodes ago. We have added a nice storage tank. It's a little bit easier to use now compared to lugging the big old compressor around. And it was pretty easy. We just took a CO2 canister here, uh, added some gutter, well, gutter brackets. They're just really 110 mil and 75 mil brackets. Nice little regulator and uh, yeah, some chew. And it's actually turned out quite well. I have dry fired it, um, but I haven't actually tested it firing it with a projectile in it and there's a reason for that and we're going to do a small challenge. <laughs> now that challenge involves a golf ball and uh, two of my mates so let's get to it. Oh yeah! at the driving range. Um, I'm not sure if I can say what name it is, but it's Warmer Woods Driving Range in Port Elizabeth. Yeah, with one of the local pros. Nick? Are, you, yes. are you a pro? Yes. Really? Even now, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> with one of the local pros, yeah. Um, he plays with like a 21 handicap, eh? Two. Oh, two. Okay, that's that's what it is. <laughs> and uh, and Donovan, yeah. I think Worst I think in the world. <laughs> Donovan plays with like uh, what do you play? With? Like an eight or a ten or something. Uh, we'll call it the how do, you, how do you give him an 8 and you say I'm a 20? <laughs> I don't know. It is what it is, eh? <laughs> okay, so we've got Nick and Donovan, yeah? Just two of my mates. <coughs> and uh, I've given them a bit of a challenge. Uh, as you've seen a couple of months ago, I built this t-shirt cannon, which uh, uh, semi turned out to be uh, good for shooting t-shirts, but uh, better off for shooting hacky sacks. And uh, I'm hoping it's going to do quite a good job of shooting golf balls. Um, I have no idea. I've never shot a golf ball out of this thing yet. I wanted to keep it as real as possible. So uh, challenge these guys to see who could drive or shoot a ball further. What I did is I brought a tape measure just to measure how far these guys can drive. Um, it's five meters, so it should be, should be long enough. That's your tee shot, dude. Your one. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I reckon, I, I'm hoping to get uh, a bit over 200 meters with this uh, golf ball out of, out of the cannon today. Um, Biggest things uh, compared to last time is that we've got 50 bars now, uh, roughly 50 bars in the uh, storage tank. Of course, we're not shooting with 50 bars. Uh, we're going to regulate it down. It's using... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> no. <laughs> we're using this regulator. Um, it's not loaded, by the way. Don't, don't worry. Um, so, yeah, that's the plan. And uh, we're just going to really see what happens. Anything you actually want to add? There's no prizes for today. Uh, so. take you promised us a beer. I did, eh? Yeah. yeah, I might have beers here. Okay. okay. Well, I'm a beer <laughs> anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's get going. Um, let's just set that guy up there. That's a fade. That's a draw. Which ah, is? fuck! What is that, a driver? Yep. Tailor made, eh? Tailor made. 
150 meters. Were well, you trying to aim right? <laughs> Just to be clear, yeah, these are these are practice shots. Um, we don't expect these guys to hit perfectly. Uh, yeah, it's cold. Um, yeah, uh, we, we, it's small shots because it's cold. But as you warm up, you know, you know, it gets bigger. You decrease your stroke or increase it, whatever the case may be. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> we'll get further. Yeah, that's like 250 carry, huh? 250 carry. Are you happy about that? That one I like. Don't miss the ball, eh? Two seventy. Jeez. Listen, I don't know. Uh. So, <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this, but uh, down there, by that little green bush, well, hang on, focus, by that green bush over there, uh, that is 280 meters. Now, these guys are almost hitting that green bush, so I'm actually getting a little bit worried that, uh, that I might have <laughs> under-challenged myself, or over-challenged myself, should I say. What are you ranging it at there? 264 is not bad. What is that, 260 again? Uh, to the right, okay, oh geez, I'm getting a bit worried. <laughs> although, although, these are range balls, so no, if you, if you no, take out a... a ball. Really? Yeah, range no, but aren't they a bit subtle? Uh, only the range, the proper range the proper Oh, range okay. Between. So, <laughs> I'm glad you guys told, told me that, because there's no excuses now. No. <laughs> there's no excuses. So ball, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no excuse for it. I was going to give it to you. I mean, these are range balls. They just look like real ones. The practice session is now over. Um, these guys have hit like a couple of balls. I haven't still practiced or done anything with my machine because I'm pretty confident that I'm going to beat your ass. Uh, yeah, let's get into it. Overconfidence. Overconfidence. Yeah, I can... The downfall of many leaders. Listen, I can't, I, can't hit a, I can't hit a golf club as far as these guys, but... Uh, the downfall of Barcelona. Say that. <laughs> Football. Quiet, please. Yes, so. Yeah, it's right down the bottom of the range. Jesus. Ooh. Where is that? Out the no, side of the range? No, that's left. You should stand on the street corner with a hook like that. <laughs> 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 the magic of editing, I will edit it out. How do you use this thing? Yes, everything's close. Jeez! This way? Yeah, that way. We're guessing that that last one went about 260, 270. Uh, Nick's going to range it now quickly. This is your cue to get your range found out, Nick. <laughs> That's uh, pretty far down the range, I would say. 264. I would, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, I'm not feeling too confident. What? Oh, Jesus, I was about to say the ball's not fitting yet, but it's got a plug in. Yeah, okay, there. For those of you who haven't seen the videos about how this thing works, uh, we are basically, and you too, I don't know if you, you guys know how this thing works, but basically we're taking a 50 bar of uh, CO2 pressure here and uh, putting it through the regulator. And then we are putting about six to eight bars into our actual gun. We're going to put, a, put a, a golf ball down the barrel and then basically just through a uh, kind of a, uh, what do you call that thing? Not a trigger, but a, a valve. That's what it's called. Jeez, it's too early in the morning. Um, a valve. I need a beer. <laughs> yeah, come, you're supposed to know. Um, so, through a valve system, uh, if you are interested in that valve system, just check out the previous videos. Uh, I do explain it there. And then it quickly, quickly releases the air. And, you know, that's about it, really. I think it's going to beat you. <laughs> uh... 
I'm going to take the first shot at six bars. Uh, there is a little bit more left in the tank. We can go up to about eight bars. So I don't want to go higher than that. But uh, let's see. Like you had a practice shot, this is going to be my practice shot. Practice shot. Huh? Oh. oh, I think it's pressurized already. <laughs> Cheers. Loaded gun, eh? <laughs> okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Out of the park! Whoa! <laughs> Three, two, one. Shut up, that's fine. Out of the park! Whoa! <laughs> Suck it! <laughs> In fairness, that was just a practice shot. No, yeah, it wasn't your real one. Oh, that is true. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it, practice shot. Holy jeez. Six bars. No, dude, that went out of the back of the park. I didn't see it. <laughs> it's, I reckon if it didn't carry the fence, I think it carried the fence, but if it didn't, it's right on that tree line. Dude, that is... <laughs> yes. That is uh, better than I expected. <laughs> Should we shoot one at Donovan? Three, two, one. <gasps> one. <gasps> so what's happened now is uh, after my first practice shot and the target shot at Donovan, uh, He's gone down to the bottom of the field now with a rangefinder. I uh, don't know why, because we could have just, that's the whole point of the rangefinder is just to see how far it goes from here. But uh, anyway, I think he's got a death wish. And what, we, what, we, what we'll do is we'll aim for him and then if it hits him, it'll be like a proper prank video on YouTube. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. So we're going we're gonna to fire one down the bottom of the range and he's just going to confirm that if it does actually carry the fence, that's the, what, 280 meter mark. I'm still in like a practice swing pressure here, six bars. We've still got two bars to go. Three, two, one. Yes, I think, I think that's the mark that it carried over the fence. <laughs> yes. We were officially smashed in this challenge. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> and I think they need to start looking at the tour pros. And yeah, I think you should challenge them rather. <laughs> it would be better. But not the local pros from Port Elizabeth. Eh? <laughs> okay, so it looks like Donovan has gone down to where my ball is. He's against the fence line. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, uh, this, this, this is the one where we're actually going to aim for him now. Yeah. Well, I'm going to try. So this is going to be another, another six bar shot. Three, two, one. Woo, check out that spin. Pluck. Woo, woo, woo. Hit the tree. Okay, that one didn't go out the back of the park, but, but the ball was kind of waving in the air. Okay, perfect. That's going to, this thing's stuck now, man. Three, two, one. Little bit of a fade on it, but that's okay. It didn't go as far. Oh, well, he's got his hand up. I think it's out the park. Yep. <laughs> Definitely that last one was the ball. So I think we need to be careful. I don't think these guys are going to be too impressed with us shooting balls out of the range. Well, oh, <laughs> check, he's climbing over to go and fetch it. <laughs> Thanks, Donovan, you, you're a good mate. I must admit, though, I think my balls actually went a bit straighter. Yes. So I'm just saying, I think the machine might hit it further, but you know what they're saying, golf is all about accuracy, eh? <laughs> that is true, that is true. We're going to go to eight bars now. Um, wait, can we go to eight bars in this thing? Well, that's about the maximum we can get. That is seven and a half bars. Uh, the 
regulator is bottomed out, so that'll have to do. Three, okay, so we've got 310 with six bars of pressure. We've gone to seven and a half. Are you ready, Donovan? Okay, are you ready? We're going. Three, two, one. Jeez. Yo, that's quite far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is the highest pressure, but what we can do is if we get the trajectory right, then uh, I think we do. We just do one more. Yeah. <laughs> Check he's ranging it out the back. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> oh no, we had a we had a slight mishap there. <laughs> Misfire. I hit my ball further than that last one. That he's just hit. <laughs> so I win at least one round. Three, two, one. No, something's getting stuck. What is getting stuck? Let's just say the performance on the machine has dropped a bit. Just, um, like, just like to say that doesn't happen when I play golf. Wait, what performance gets better, <laughs> unlike the machine, eh? So you can even see these machines aren't more that reliable. Oh, you know what could be happening is that uh, the valve could be freezing because we're using CO2 and uh, as the CO2 comes out of the tank, there's a massive drop in pressure and uh, our little valve on the top could be actually freezing and not uh, not releasing pressure properly. So maybe. <laughs> what does he say? The, the, the one that went over the fence was 265 plus another 75. So that's what? 340. That's 340 meters. I didn't anticipate something going wrong with the gun. <laughs> something is getting stuck with the valve. Uh, it still shoots, but not as quickly as it was. Uh, I don't actually know what it could be though. Because it's only got one moving part, literally about this big, it just does this. Well, while we can't solve the problem yet, I must admit, 300, what is it? 340 meters? 340, yeah. That's a good distance to hit, eh? Oh, wait, I so I reckon Dustin Johnson, Roy McElroy, when you guys see this video, um, game on, eh? The only bad thing about this whole thing is we managed to hit him. But anyway. Yeah. You know what, when I'm on the golf course, I'll just shank one by accident. This thing is slightly malfunctioning. Uh, I think it could be because it's a little bit cold inside. So I've just let all the pressure out the gun and we're going to let it uh, sit in the sun for maybe 10 minutes just to see if that helps. Um, I didn't bring the tools to actually open here and, and have a look. Uh, I didn't really anticipate it breaking. <laughs> Donovan, you can come back. <laughs> There he comes. I thought I would just come show you guys how far past the back of the driving range uh, the balls were going. So this is the fence at the back of the driving range. That's the 280 meter mark. And Donovan was standing over here just inside with the rangefinder and saying that the balls uh, out of the cannon were firing or carrying directly into this berm. And that berm is about 75 to 80 meters past the back of the driving range. So it was going well out of the driving range. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with a homemade little cannon. Uh, I'm sure we can get maybe a little bit more out of it. Maybe we'll try it at 10 bars. I might just have to get a different regulator, but I think I clearly won that challenge. We pretty much finished the challenge now. Uh, I think I was the clear winner at 300 and what we... we, we I was the most consistent, that's all that matters. Okay, fair, uh, second most consistent. fair, fair enough. I didn't uh, break down off the five minutes. Okay. I'll give it to Nick. He's, uh, that's why he's a professional. Uh, definitely way more consistent than what we were. I had the distance, so what do you call those, those big drive distance competitions? Long drive. Yeah, long, long drive. Those guys aren't that accurate, um, but consistency always wins the game. So, But otherwise, <laughs> Nick, Don, thanks very much uh, for helping out today. Uh, it's always nice to have other people be part of the videos. Um, is there anything you guys want to add? I don't know. I was consistent. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I didn't break down after five minutes. Oh, is it? Okay. And I must say, it was a pleasure trying to hit golf balls with both of them. So it's yeah, it is. It is. It was all good fun. Um, if you guys need a golf uh, pro or a coach, and you are in Port Elizabeth, uh, phone Nick. Uh, maybe just uh, send me a message on on uh, YouTube in the description, and then I'll I'll pass your number on to Nick uh, or something like that. And. Uh, I don't know, if you need some legal advice, Donovan is a... <laughs> I'm a tennis coach, we've discussed it. A tennis coach. <laughs> no, he's, he's one of the local attorneys, uh, quite a good one around town. Um, I'm not going to 
disclose who he works for because I might get into trouble for that. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> yeah, he works with my wife. <laughs> so, but otherwise, guys, uh, really, thanks for watching. And uh, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well, then... <laughs> otherwise, just don't uh, watch it. Yeah, just don't watch it then. <laughs> uh, leave a description in the description box below. I always like to hear from you uh, whether you liked it or not, or if you've got any tips for any future videos. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It really helps me out with the videos and with the channel. And uh, other than that, keep safe and be good, and we'll see you next time. Don't try this at home. <laughs> yes, don't try this at home. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>